Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got an email in from Jess Newton, and Jess wants to know the uh, the email is titled "Bridging Camera Best for Photography." So Jess says, "Hi, just wondering if you're able to offer any help or advice. I'm looking for my next bridging camera. I'm upgrading from my dead Panasonic FZ FZ100, and I really do like the Panasonic range. I use the camera mostly for wildlife photography and equestrian photography, particularly fast-moving stuff like cross country." I'm open to most brands and realize one day I will move to a full DSLR, but for now, I like not having to lug numerous lenses around. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Thanks in advance. So, um, because you like the Panasonic, the immediate choice that comes to mind is the FZ1000, which is a fantastic camera. It's going to give you a 25 to 400 uh, f2.8 to 4 equivalent lens. It's going to give you a better sensor than you had because it's got 20 megapixel, uh, one inch sensor, very nice sensor. And it's going to give you the ability to shoot 4K video as well, which you may find you start doing videos. 4K video gives you the ability to take screen grabs at a decent resolution, which is a lot of people find that out kind of inadvertently that, hey, this is cool. Um, what else do we have? We have a, a you know hybrid OIS system, the five axis. We've got um, just you know a better all around camera, quite an upgrade from your FZ100. You could actually step into the FZ2500. The FZ1000 is around $700, $699 right now. The FZ2500 is a heck of a camera, but it's $1,200. I don't know if you want to go that high. It's far, it gives you a little bit longer lens. It's a 480 equivalent. It's far more of a video camera, very professionally enabled, very professionally featured for video. Now, the other thing that I would recommend is a Sony, a Sony RX10. Now you have a couple of options here because if you go with a Sony RX10, the original RX10, which is still available, you can get one for about $799. You can get one even less for a refurb or used. That's a 20 megapixel one inch sensor. It's a really nice 24 to 200 f2.8 lens. So it's not quite the reach you had, but it's a constant f2.8. And that's a good price. Now you can step up into the Mark II. The Mark II gives you the ability to shoot 4K, which I'm a big fan of. But if that's not of interest to you, that's fine because the other thing that you get is you're you're getting the uh, you're still getting the 24 to 200 f2.8 lens uh, and 4K, and you're getting. I guess really that was the big option. I was thinking there was one more advantage to it, and the the Mark II RX10 was basically the 4K was the big difference. So you got the same lens. So good camera constant aperture if that's too short for you the other in the sense of the lens going to 200 bear in mind it's to f28 that's a big bonus plus a better sensor the other option you have here is if you if it's within your budget it's 1400 dollars to go to the rx10 mark iii now why you might want the rx10 mark iii is it's a slower lens but a longer lens so i'm just double checking making sure i'm telling you the correct thing but we are looking at an equivalent of what's the equivalent listing on here a 24 to 600 millimeter focal length. So you're getting more reach. You don't get a constant f2.8, but it's uh, f2.4 to 4. So not too bad, 600 mil equivalent at 4. Really very, very, very capable video camera as well. So very decent bridge camera. Step up, more expensive though. I think the sweet spot here for a lot of people is the RX Mark, uh, Mark II. Or if you really, really don't think you're interested or going to be interested in video, perhaps the RX10. Again, with the RX10 original and the Mark II, you're you're not getting the length of the Mark III. So the FZ1000 may be your best bet there for length and better sensor. Those are the ones I would look at. Because you like Panasonic, lean, I'm leaning towards that. But I just wanted to throw those Sonys in the mix too so you can check them out. What do you guys think? What do you think would be the best recommendation? Let's help them out. Um, let's help Jess out. What would you recommend? Do you agree that the FZ1000, which is what I'm really leaning towards, that I think would probably be best suited for you? Or do you think maybe one of the Sony's or is there something else altogether that I haven't covered? Let me know in the comments below. What would you do and why? Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.